Welcome back, YouTube, for another market analysis live video for the London session. We're going to be going over S&P 500 and also gold again tonight for the London session levels. We're going to be looking at the trade. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to take a look at S&P on the 10 tick first. Let's go ahead and pull it over. Had some decent movement to the upside here. We retested those 75s. Uh, so it was a good move to the upside once we broke that. Uh, out of that range we broke through broke those 55 56s and headed on up into those 75s uh, now we retested that we double topped it here one time two times and we're coming back down now what we are looking for for s p 500 is we are looking to see if we come back up and we hold the support here if we do hold it then we're going to look to retest the upside of right around those 70s 75s again now if we don't do that if we do opposite of that where we actually come up and we try to hold it and we're kind of in between and we fail it then we'll be looking for it to come underneath these 55s and then we'll take an opportunity back down into these 30 areas just like we took during the London session that you know that trade from these 28 to 30s for the long side back to test that resistance of 55 56 um, that's what we'll be looking for if we can't hold the support above 56 we'll be looking for the resistance below and then we'll take it back down from there now if we do come if we do miss that move and um, we do come to the point where we hit those 30s again then we'll be looking for an opportunity to catch a bounce off of it it could break through it but it's a matter of coming back to hold it and we'll look for the opportunities to take the long again if we get that support holding right at this level. Underneath that level again, we'll probably have some downside running right into about 29.15 to 29.08. That's going to be our levels on the downside. Let's take a look at the smaller chart, that 5 tick, and we can actually see everything else. But currently right now we just are retesting those 56s. So got a little bit of time. Um, before we see exactly what it wants to do you see we went all the way back up like we were looking at earlier into those 74 to 75 that's kind of where we stalled and then we came all the way back down so again that's what we'll be looking for on S&P is either we're going to hold the support above 56 or we're going to hold the resistance and then move our way back down uh, into those 30 so we'll be looking out for that on the London session if the levels do get tested or broken through right away then we'll you know we'll redo our levels and then we'll check out other areas that we can look at be trading let's take a look at gold gold has been in a sideways range you can see top side of maybe 55.2 was our resistance we do have a high side of right around these 57.9s but i'm really not going to highlight that I like to see where it touches multiple times and that's going to be right around 55.2 and you can see where the support is coming in. It's between 47.9 and 45 even. We're below that level. So what I am looking out for is to see how we retest this resistance. If we can hold it, we'll look for a continuation move down. But if we cannot hold that level, then we're going to look for it to come right back above. If we can come back above and hold the support here, we'll go right back into that range. And we'll look for a long side back into the 55s. Again, long term, we are in that uptrend um from that downtrend movement so we are moving sideways but we're still in that bullish trend that we have so uh if it cannot hold the resistance come up retest hold the support get that double bottom get that two try failure we'll continue it on up back into the 55s from this area here let's take a look at a five tick chart here real quick see the smaller view of what we got currently going on on this five tick, I think gold might be a good opportunity to trade tonight. So we'll see if we get those uh, that movement that we want to see. But yes, we're going to see if we can hold the resistance, and if we can, then we'll continue down. We're going to be looking to break this higher low movement and then start to short. So it's going to be right underneath maybe 42 that we'll continue the short down um, to actually try to play that out. Now, if we get that movement, excuse me, sorry with the pop up. Uh, if we get that movement back up through it. Then again, we'll be looking for that support to retest this and hold it, get into the 51 to 55 area. Now, if we do get up to that area, we miss that long, then we'll be looking to see how the market reacts to these 55s. If we can't get through them, then we'll look to 
see if we can get some technicals to go overhead and give us the confirmation for a move back down to the mid level or also to the very bottom of support. So that's what we're going to be looking for on gold and on S&P. If any of the if any of the price levels get broken through, um, we'll go ahead and readjust and take a look at other price levels that we can try to trade from. But I hope you hope you guys like that. If you guys did like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you guys are, thank you guys very much. Really appreciate you guys. Um, that is going to be it for the market analysis. I will see you guys in the one session. Take care. Guys.